to transformation of axis. As part of that, this session will focus on translation of axis. First, let's understand what's the meaning of transformation of axis. Whenever we deal with problems generally, we say that we have x axis, we have y axis, which are at 90 degrees with each other, and the origin is at 0, 0. But this always may not be the case. Sometimes we may have the origin shifted to any other point, origin shifted to some other point. This is one scenario where let us say that the origin is shifted to this particular point from 0, 0 to another point H, K. So, this is the scenario where there is a translation that means the direction of the axis remains the same. That means the new x axis is parallel to the old x axis and new y axis is parallel to the old y axis. Or can we say that the direction is not changed? That means we just took this x and y axis, keep them as free and just try to slide them without rotating them. So, there is no rotation, there is only translation. That's one type of transformation of axis. Then there is another type of transformation of axis in which we keep the we keep the location of the origin as it is, but we rotate the axis. So instead of keeping it as x, we rotate it such that this is the x dash and this is y dash. In this scenario, the origin remains at the same place like what we have earlier 0, 0, but we are making an angle theta with the old x axis. So, the new x axis is making an angle theta with the old x axis. This is the second scenario which we call it as rotation. And the third scenario is where we have combination of both translation and rotation in which let us say that we have x axis, we have y axis. Now, I have taken, I have shifted the origin from 0, 0, from 0, 0 to another point such that let us say if this is the point okay maybe that will confuse you so let us say that the origin is shifted with both translation and rotation that means the new x axis is not parallel to x axis but it makes an angle theta and similarly the y axis also is rotated so, x axis makes an angle theta with the old x axis and the origin is shifted from 0, 0 to another point H, K. This is the scenario where we have both translation and rotation. So, these are the three scenarios what we have. In this session, we will touch upon the first scenario that is nothing but translation of axis. So, we try to understand what will happen to the coordinates of a particular point if the origin is translated, shifted from a point to another point. This, remember, there is no rotation. There is no rotation. There is only just translation. That means you are just sliding the coordinate axis. You are not moving them. So, let us have a look at that and see how that scenario will try to solve some problems so that we can understand this concept. This is very very easy concept. Once you understand, you will be very comfortable. So, let us move. Go ahead. To understand the translation, what we will do? We will take our x axis and y axis. This is our x axis and this is our y axis. Remember, whatever we are doing is works the same for all the quadrants it's always comfortable so we are taking the first quadrant but that works out for anything the formula what we are going to derive now we know that origin of this particular scenario is at 0 comma 0 x axis and y axis now let us say that we have shifted the origin to another point h comma k
let us say that we have shifted the origin to another point h comma k so this is my x dash that's a new axis let us say and this is y dash so this is x axis y axis let us say that is x dash new x axis and new y axis and let us say that this particular point is h comma k so the what we are trying to say is the origin is shifted from 0 0 to h comma k in this scenario how how a particular point coordinates change to understand that we will take a arbitrary point let us say this is point x comma y now with respect to the old coordinate system it is x comma y with respect to the new coordinate system it is x dash comma y dash now let us see what is the relation between x y and the x dash y dash for that what we will do we will simply go ahead and try to understand if a particular point is at x comma y then with respect to the old system this value total length is equal to x because that's what we have been told similarly to that particular point if i am able to draw the vertical line so this is nothing but equal to x comma y coordinates also we know that from 0 0 it is shifted to h comma k that means we know that this length is equal to h and this length equal to k so we can go ahead and write down that too we can say we can say that we can say that this length is equal to h and this length is equal to k now with respect to the new coordinate axis what is x dash x dash with respect to that is nothing but equal to the distance from here to the point this distance is equal to x dash and similarly from this particular point to y dash so this distance is equal to y dash let me repeat this so we have a arbitrary point x comma y which is there in the original coordinates original cartesian system where we have 0 0 is at the origin now the axis is shifted to h comma k now we want to understand that a point with coordinates x comma y in the new system new coordinates axis will become x dash comma y dash suppose then what is the relation between x and x dash and y and y dash for that what we have done We have taken the coordinate axis we know x comma y is the point that means we know this distance is x and we also know this vertical distance is y similarly the origin is shifted from 0 0 to h comma k that means the horizontal distance is x coordinate h and the vertical distance is y coordinate k also with respect to the new coordinate coordinate axis whatever we have we know that x dash y dash means that from the origin that is h comma k how much distance i have to go horizontal distance x dash and vertical distance y dash once we are clear with this we can come back and finish and find out the relation between them so what i will write down now we can see that very clearly x is nothing but equal to h plus x dash we can see that x equal to h plus x dash so can i write down x equal to x equal to h plus x dash similarly we can also see that y is equal to k plus y dash so i can go back and write down y equal to y equal to k 
plus y dash. Or can we write down x dash equal to x minus h and y dash is equal to y minus k. So that is the relation between x y and x dash y dash. So let us take a some simple example on this. Let us try to solve this simple problems. Thus we know that x dash equal to x minus h and y dash equal to y minus k. Remember that h comma k is the point to which the origin is shifted and x comma y are original coordinates and x dash y dash are the coordinates in the new system. So, let us do try to do this simple example. The first one when the origin is shifted to 4 comma minus 5 by the translation of a axis find the coordinates of the following points with ref reference to the new axis. That means we have been given h comma k and we have been given x comma y. We have to find out x dash comma y dash. So, the first step I will write down. I will say that we know x dash is equal to x minus h. We also know y dash equal to y minus k. Here x dash is equal to x value. x value is equal to 0 minus h which is equal to 4 and y dash is equal to y that is equal to 3 minus of k which is equal to minus 5. If you want you can write down x comma y. I can write down x comma y. I will change the color so that x comma y is 0 comma 3, x comma y is 0 comma 3 and h comma k is equal to 4 comma minus 5. So, the formula we know is x dash equal to x minus h and y dash equal to y minus k. So, the first question first bit will be 4 comma minus 4 comma 8 that is equal to minus 4 comma 8. So, I can write down x dash comma y dash is equal to minus 4 comma 8. So, let us do the next one. Now, x equal to minus 2 second bit we are doing x equal to minus 2 y equal to 4 we have to find out x dash comma y dash x dash equal to x minus h, y dash equal to y minus k. h comma k we will write down h equal to four and k is equal to minus five. So x minus h that is minus two minus four which is equal to minus six and y dash equal to y minus k that is 4 minus of minus 5 which is equal to 4 plus 5 equal to 9. Therefore, x dash y dash are the coordinates of the following the point with res respect to the new axis is 6 minus 6 comma 9.